Hello. No. Like, oh, that's my right. Let me get. Let me. See. My right side's my better side. No, my right side's my better side. And okay, I'm so. Star. Hello, my name is Rachel, and welcome back to my channel, Ladle by Ladle. What is my channel about? Uh, it's hard to tell these days, but I mostly focus my content on body positivity, self love. Um, a little bit of Disney, a little bit of yummy food, and maybe some curvy fashion. What? I'm a fashion YouTuber today? Yes. There was a trend of videos going around like a year ago, and I am always about a year or two late to a trend. Girls were styling their boyfriend's clothes. So we've already done a video where Mario styles my clothes for a week and if you haven't seen that video, click the card above. Honestly, one of my favorite videos I've ever made and it's it severely underperformed, so I don't have high hopes for this video, but... I don't see it. Mario? Hi. I went through your closet today. Uh-oh. While you were at work. Got a lot of skeletons. It was kind of a mess, I'm not gonna lie. Yep. That sounds right. <laughs> yeah, it was like a horror show of sorts. I don't think any of the clothes I picked up were dirty, but we can't really know for sure with that I mean, closet. I would know. Well... Don't but tell I me. won't tell you. Yeah, don't tell me. <laughs> okay, so I have kind of figured out in advance four outfits from your closet. My rule, like to myself, because this is my video and I make the rules, because I'm styling your clothes, right? So I had to use some things from from my wardrobe to like complete like a outfit that I would actually wear. But I have to have at least two things, two major things from your closet in the outfit, at least. Cool. Uh, to like constitute me really styling your clothes. Right. We are the exact same size. Mario is a size. Actually, I don't really understand boy clothes. Are you talking about pants? Yeah. Like it's that's like the circumference of your of your then, penis. Like, yeah. What? Yeah. We would not be dating if you had a thirty inch wide dick. Not wide circumference. <laughs> God. Thirty inch wide would be ridiculous. Anyway, when I was thinking about this video, I was a little worried that I wouldn't be able to wear any of your pants because I was fairly certain that my ass would make all of your bottoms way too small on me. Yes, but, but you underestimated the bubble of my butt. So, um, I tried a couple things on just to make sure to see what would work. Your jeans fit me like a glove. So we're the exact same size, which does make sense because you are a 30 by 30, according to all the tags in your pants. Yes. Do you, is that accurate? Do you have the correct size? Uh, that is true. <laughs> I mean, I think, and uh, for some reason, inches tend to be, uh, confusingly ambiguous number with different clothing lines like a 30 in one place is different than a 30 in another place even though it's a literal numeric measurement so yeah just isn't that measure weird? 30 in inches. that happens to me all the time so I'm a 30 like if, I, if something is done in inches I'm either a 29 or a 30 like I'm always one of those two which is weird it's like why am I not just one right sometimes I'm a 29 sometimes I'm a 30 like sometimes the 30s are way too big on me sometimes they're way too small which makes no sense yeah. typically, typically I would say on average I am probably a size 30 and apparently so are you yeah. so I guess it should come as no surprise that <laughs> your pants fit me all perfectly um, a, li a little tight in the derriere because the cut is not flattering for the a little loose in the front yeah, so I have four outfits. I had some more to say and I can't remember now. I guess without further ado, let's just, uh, let's try on some clothes and let's style some outfits from your closet. Okay, this is the first, first outfit. The first outfit choice pieces. So this is without me like, zhuzhing it up in any particular way. Mm -hmm. First of all, these were the first jeans I saw when I walked in your closet. I, you have a couple pairs, so Those I was Those are the ones thinking. that I pretty much wear. That would probably be why they were on the top of a random pile. I feel like I would wear these jeans. See, there's a there's a small hole in the back. What? Why do you have holes? In all it your looks jeans? fine on me, but your butt oh expands it. Oh my god! You can put a finger in it. Stop! Stop fingering my hole. But honestly, they kind of fit like a lot of jeans that I own. Actually, do. Like, and like, can I just say something? Look at how far into these these pockets my hands go. Yep. Yeah. I have giant hands, <laughs> and you know, really girl pockets that can go like this. I can't get my, where's my iPhone? This is the iPhone 8 Plus. So basically what I'm saying is that women's jeans can have big pockets, they just choose not to. Just, I would never carry a purse again, I could just fit the whole world in these things. I got, I always got a cell phone wallet. Then I picked this shirt because as you know, yes. this is my favorite shirt that you own. Yes. You've owned this shirt since we started dating. And I remember like when I first found it in your closet in New Orleans, I was like, he hadn't worn it. We've been together for like a couple of months at that yeah. point. And I was like, what? Look at how awesome this shirt, like here, I'm gonna get a close up of it. Look at how cool the pattern of this shirt is. It's sick. So I would judge this outfit off by tucking in the shirt. 
in my cleavage out. Mm, I don't have that. <laughs> you don't have a couple of things that I have. Have you? Ah, yes. I have a belt, and we're the, like pretty much the exact same height, but I think I have longer legs than you. Mm. And you have a longer torso. Okay. Because I, like, these jeans don't fall so high on your legs, right? No, but they also, like, they're sitting up above your ass. Right. Like, they hang a little lower on me. Oh, well, I can't do that. <laughs> Pulling the jeans notwithstanding, I would wear this outfit out. It's kind of like a, like a like late 80s vibe to Oh, it. definitely. The shirt's got, like, lots of 80s. Yeah, I the feel like Hopper the... would be, Hopper would approve. Do you have a hole in the crotch? Mario! <laughs> I don't buy clothing. I f***ing love this outfit. I'm going to give this outfit a 10 out of 10. Damn. I know, we're starting really strong. You know what, no. Nine and a half out of 10 because of the hole in your jeans. But really that has nothing to do with my ability to make any outfit look. Oh, I feel like you're making it worse. <laughs> okay, moving on to outfit number two. These are your pants yes. and this is your sweatshirt. Yes it is. I picked this, these items mm -hmm. because I would say they're your like favorite, your favorite current items based off of your frequency of wear. Yeah, I wear those both a bunch. Well, I mean when it's, cold enough. This this sweater is really cool. Like, let's be honest. I think I would just kind of, you know, and you do this too. I do that just too, like, yeah. Roll it up. Zh, zh, these I roll everything up though. It's important to have wrist freedom. Wrist freedom? Yeah. I kind of put the riding boots with them because it was like a colder weather outfit and I like riding boots. Like, colder weather to me is like New England because I grew up in New England. <laughs> and riding boots are New England. Very good. Yeah. Now I'm like, full on <laughs> high school Rachel. <laughs> With the boots and the vest, oh my gosh. But I think it's so funny like seeing myself in these clothes because literally <laughs> you wear this. Are you attracted to yourself right now? Kind of. <laughs> that looks pretty good in all your pants. I kind of started the same thing as the jeans. Um, if I didn't know any better, I would think these are women's. Okay. Yeah. But I could fit basically my half my forearm in each pocket. Uh, I am so mad at my own pants now. I'll never have, I'll never be okay with my own pants from now on. Just like the last outfit, I would 100% wear this outfit. 100%. I almost want to give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Is that with the vest, without the vest? With the vest? Dude, I I'm going to New Hampshire in a couple days for Christmas and... You're not taking either of those. I'm not, but I would wear this. Yeah. All right. Outfit number two. Okay, no, that was number two. Yeah, outfit number two. Oh, are you saying we're about to do? No, we're about to do outfit number three. Okay. This is your blazer. Yes. And this is your tie. Yes. Like, I had this idea of like making a dress out of one of your blazers, but once again, we're the exact same size. So, <laughs> none of your blazers were big enough to be a dress. Like, if this was a dress, you could see my full. Like... Let me put some shoes on. Shoes. Shiz, your jacket, your tie. <laughs> Therefore, following my rule of at least two things from your closet. Well, it's it's a little confusing because the dress underneath tells me you're going out. Yeah. But the rest of it tells me you're going to work. The other thing is also I am broader in the shoulders than you. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> so that also it's get and especially with you rolling up the sleeves, uh, it gets another sort of like eighties vibe. Definitely got some Miami Vice vibes in here. Like I feel like I could be like slutty Miami Vice for Halloween in this. Which should we take a moment to talk about this career renaissance of Don Johnson? This career recently? renaissance of him playing like a racist old white man. Yeah. Um Actually, maybe I just like really like enjoy my own reflection because I'm just loving all these outfits. <laughs> if I give every outfit a 10 out of 10, then that's that defeats the purpose of the video. I'm not gonna give the next one up a 10 out of 10. Well, oh, I don't think you've given either of the last ones 10 out of 10. <sighs> In my heart, I have. Oh. I just look really good and everything. Oh, tough life. It is my play. Oh, well, I mean, just in general, I think you feel that way because the 80s are kind of now back in fashion. 80s stuff is definitely cool. You know, fashion is a wheel. I can't wait till we're wearing Victorian dresses again. I wish I want to wear stuff with that has like long tails and top hats again. You, maybe you can just do that. No one's no. stopping you. Society is. Fuck society. Hey. Okay. Fuck society. Another A plus outfit for me. What can I say? I've always been a straight A student. Well, it's my clothing. It's really doing it. Well, you've always probably been a straight A student too, I imagine. Yes. Yeah. We're just kind of overachievers. <laughs> and now we're doing this. So it really yeah. <laughs> Look at me now, Miss Kiernan. All right, final outfit. The two items from your closet, as you of course already know, are this shirt. Right. 
and his hat. And so the style that I put the hat backwards like a cool kid. That's how I wear it. What's up, fellow yous? <laughs> These are my shorts. How's that? Actually, I was gonna do another thing of yours. Your shoes. Oh yeah. So it's like three things. Because you're a men's nine and a half. Okay. Well, I'm a woman's nine and a half. That's not the same thing. No, they're not. So yeah, these are your shoes. The only thing that's mine are the shorts. I like these shoes. They are too big on me though. Hmm. I couldn't wear these outside of this video. Okay. Well, you like, also have them untied, so it'd be dangerous. This is uh, actually my favorite of all four. Really? Yeah. This is your favorite? Uh-huh. I thought this was going to be your least favorite. No. I could roll the sleeves. You think I should roll the sleeves? You know, like roll it and then like have like a decoy like box of like cigarettes. Is that cool? Do I look cool? No, I don't look cool because smoking is not cool. Not cool unless it's weed. Literally neither of us smoke cigarettes, we promise. We just, we do have this because we used to be stupid. Yeah, that's the look. This is the look? Yeah. Yeah, so we've definitely moved into the 90s with this look. Yeah. Uh, so this is your favorite look? Yes. Out of the four I just did? Yes. This is not my favorite look. I would say my favorite look was the first one. Well, you're wrong. Okay. I think I pulled all of these off. And I must say, as, as a bisexual woman, one of the things I thought that maybe I gave up when I got into a long-term relationship with a man was the ability to share clothes with my significant other. Uh, but I guess that's not true. No. Because as we found out today, I look good in your clothes. And Dare I say I look better than you. Stay tuned for the next episode where we see if I look good in Rachel's clothes. That would be so fun. Funny. Would you do that? If this video gets a hundred likes, which is a lot for me, then we'll do the opposite of this video where Mario Styles close from my closet. <laughs> uh, well, if you liked this video in general, you should also give it a like. And if you're new, please make sure to subscribe. I make videos every Tuesday and Friday on a myriad of different things, mostly body positivity and self-love and all the shit I said in the intro. You guys were there, you know. Comment down below and let me know which outfit was your favorite. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>